Hi everyone. So today we are doing live on a very special topic, which is for skin care for brides to be. So I'm sure there are so many brides who had their wedding planned during this time, but for some reason the weddings, of course, got delayed or uh, postponed. And while the lockdown is on, this is the time where actually brides to be can start taking care of their skin in a very special, a special manner. So today my chat is going to be a very interactive chat. I'm also going to be inviting a very good friend of mine. Uh, she's going to be joining us very very soon, and we are going. Uh, she's herself a bride to be, and uh, we are going to have a very interactive chat to talk about skin care and what can brides to be do at home and make use of their time. So uh, while uh, she's going to join us in a bit, Kupalika, but before she joins us, uh, I'm going to give a little heads up on what brides to be can do at home. It was like not very long time back, like our mothers or our elder sisters, where uh, their visit to the dermatologist was actually the first visit just before their wedding or their first facial used to be the one that they used to get just before their wedding. But now, of course, the brides are much more well informed and they do plan for their skin, their bridal look. And I feel the brides these days are much more educated that their healthier skin is a depiction of health from inside because that glow which shows on your skin is the glow and the health from inside and that's where i feel the brides to be are actually at home now and they are not being exposed to any of the sun exposure dust or pollution and they can do so much more for their skin than what they would have done otherwise so taking this as an opportunity i feel all the brides can do few things so to start with first is beauty sleep which is really really important because if you take that beauty sleep uh, very very seriously that seven to eight hours of beauty sleep not only helps you relax but it reduces the stress acne it improves your hair fall and also relaxes you and your skin second you can get your blood check done to see if you're deficient on something and if you're not deficient on anything just a regular multivitamin would be a great idea because a good health is again a depiction of your health from inside. Second, um, third, make sure that while you're at home, you can always uh, cook for yourself. So you can look up a good nutritionist or you can even find out what's good for your body. Make sure you have a nice green smoothie or juice every day. So my favorite these days, of course, when I talk about my health and nutrition, what am I eating? My day would start with uh, warm water and cinnamon. I love cinnamon and warm water because it is not only tasting good but it also boosts your metabolism and then as the day progresses i would have some soaked almonds soaked walnut that's what i generally have before my breakfast and my breakfast would be if i can catch hold some nice avocados and it would be an avocado toast and some eggs to go with it or i would so just soak up some oats overnight and have them in the morning so it's a good healthy breakfast and if i'm working out and i'm doing a lot of weights then i would not hesitate to add on a plant protein Midday, I would have a salad like maybe hummus with some cut carrots or coconut water. And for my lunch, I would have something which is very uh, simple yet homemade like rice, dal, or I would just uh, saute some tofu with vegetables some days. That's generally my lunch. Evenings, I love my black coffee and with my black coffee, I might indulge a little bit and have some of my favorite cookies or cake, which is again homemade. I've shared a very nice uh, cake recipe also, which you all can look up. It's really healthy and gluten free. And my dinner would again would be homemade and I would love to cook for myself. So brides to be can make it very simple and cook for themselves. They can have a green smoothie every day which can be with the spinach, celery, cucumber. You can mix and match it and add some superfoods like moringa powder which is really good. Even spirulina is very very good and it's exceptionally good for your hair. Add that. You can add some chia seeds, like just soak up some chia seeds overnight and have that just uh, in the morning, empty stomach or before your breakfast or lunch. It's excellent for uh, reducing bloating, removing constipation and also having you, uh, it will help you in losing weight. These are some things that you can do during the day to help. Even a simple dal chila can be made at home, which is full of protein. Now, brides to be should always be taking care of or looking forward to just not treatments which are done in the clinic, but also so many things can be done at home, which is either making good DIYs or maybe also preparing or following their skincare routine. 
so if you are getting married and you have not seen a dermatologist till now i would urge you to at least go and get a virtual consult know your skin type know what is your skin regime supposed to be and start following that skin regime to the t because that makes a lot of difference so good diet a good skin regime so morning and night following your skin regime to the t then you start adding some diys so not all the diys are suitable for your skin some diys will suit you and some diys might not suit you so make sure you do a small patch test before going ahead and trying any of the diys i i i see so many of my uh, clients uh, get in touch who say they tried some diy and those diys didn't work for them so try and stay away from those diys which you have not heard about or tried before some diy uh, ingredients that you need to be wary of is cinnamon cinnamon doesn't suit everyone and it's a very potent herb so sometimes you can get a rash on your face if you're using too much of cinnamon another diy i would also say that you need to be very careful about is big grains or big um, uh, uh, you know physical exfoliants because bigger the grain on your face is more abrasion it can cause so stay away from that too and third would be lemon juice or any kind of acids which you put on your face directly because a they are very acidic and abrasive they can give you a lot of inflammation they can cause dermatitis so it's a good idea to stay away from that just uh, go slow try a little bit and my favorite diy ingredients when it comes to preparing would be first of all yogurt so if you have been following me you would know how much i love putting yogurt in my diys why because it's a natural exfoliant it has lactic acid which helps in removing the tan or the pigmentation and my second favorite is honey because it has natural antibiotic properties it is also a humifactant meaning it is also very good in retaining moisture so these two along with uh, i would use oats so oats is a special diy ingredient too so i'm going to do a live diy today with uh, uh, angopalika when she joins which also involves oats so there's a specific way to use oats you just don't churn oats and make a oats powder or use instant oats in your face pack you can actually soak it in some warm water because when you soak it in warm water it becomes colloidal you know that little lacy oats because more colli- colloidal is the oats more better it is more moisture retaining it is so these three are uh, my favorite diy ingredients which is yogurt and then uh, we spoke about honey and then we took uh, spoke about oats and gopalika is here i can see her and i'm going to have her join us and we are going to talk more and more about bridal care with her so guys please keep questions i just hi can you Perfect see me properly you. so good to see my skin will be so happy to see you right now i'm just i'm just uh, wanting to make this face pack so i hope you know that i'm obsessed with face packs like i'm absolutely obsessed with them so have been have you been sorry have you been doing a lot of diys lately so uh, so when anna spoke to me i was like listen i know i've been using all these uh, so i use a lot of karma and um, i think before the lockdown i had come over to um, you know to the clinic to do the hydra facial and they were like showing me what came out of my skin and i was like yeah. of course that's not out of my skin she was like yes ma'am this is this is out of your skin yes. and i was like okay so i mean that's what yeah it's quite interesting so hydra facial is a medi facial guys in which we actually show you all the dirt and the grime which comes out from the face in a jar so it's quite you know interesting and quite you know. yeah so i mean when when she told me i was like of course and can she also tell us like what we can actually uh, do at home and she was like of course and i was like i'm ready i'm ready with all my ingredients so Thank yeah you. i'm so happy to be here and also now i think a lot of us brides at home or like right to be is i mean I, I, it's very funny when i say that but at home we have so much time that i feel that we can actually do this so here i am with my bare skin let's share it to you also by the water it take care of your skin what do you do so um the one thing that i actually do to take care of i don't know if it, i think you're going to scold me is um so i wake up in the morning i uh, 
first wash my um, you know skin with like thanda pani i think cold water it really helps i don't know if, if everything you know whenever i sleep i always feel like my skin is really oily even now if you can see here there's just a little bit of you know a uh, uh, glow and then this becomes this the whole patch becomes oily so sorry someone's home uh so basically what i do is first use uh, a lot of cold water and then i just uh, use a very a uh, non foaming uh, face wash but is that a good thing am i doing it right i don't know so uh i the first wash and the calcium that would cold water wash this for cold water why it shuts down your pores in sensation in fact doc sorry i can't hear you should i come back i don't know why i can't hear you can you hear me now yes i can hear you clearly hold on no again i can't what's happening okay so uh, maybe we they can't hear me for some reason And should i join back again yeah sure. okay coming back in a second So guys, we were talking about cold water with Gopalika. I hope my voice is clear now. You guys can give me a thumbs up in case. Okay, so maybe something uh, while she joined in, maybe there was an echo. Uh, Deepa, you're saying you still can't hear me. Is it so? Okay. Uh, I would wait her to join me, and then probably I can uh, get my headphones. Okay, now you can hear me. So we were talking about cold water rinses. So why cold water rinses are good, or maybe putting ice on your face is good, because it causes um, something called uh, cryolipolysis. It can not only shut your pores, but it also increases the blood circulation, which gives you that instant glow. I can hear you. Hi. Yes. Yes. So that was it. You need a foaming face wash with salicylic acid. My favorite. Bioderma serum face wash. I've you heard can, a lot about it. Can you? You had told me about it when I had come over. I, I remember I was like, they were like, you know, docs calling you in, and I I remember Sharnamli had done a session with you, and you were just looking at my skin, and you were like, oh my god, what should I say? You know, what should I tell this child? Because I was like, I want to do this, I want to do that, and you were like, no, Kapalka. First, we're going to start with smaller steps, and I was like, okay, I'm ready. So I remember. Exactly because I was just telling the viewers the same. and you can follow your sleep here to you know look at your sleep here to the tea, take a virtual consult or visit actually do the so doc i think again i can't hear you what is it me is it my or uh... you want to uh, take off the wifi maybe or um... i can hear you now like i can hear you in bits and pieces but wherever i can't i'm going to trouble you again Okay, sure. Or, hmm. or maybe let's take it close to hear the question. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, should we go ahead and see what the questions are? Somebody just said the words. Yes. Okay, so they can hear us. So one thing that every bride to be wants to know is what does she eat to make her skin feel better? Like, what is it that I can wake up and have, and you know, I mean, that works better. the first things that you need to be very careful about is diet low in sugar the sugar we sometimes feel you know little bit of sugar here and there on maybe that focus on that not because the produce in the body which is not it can cause inflammation to the skin it's not good for your body the sugar is strict no no you can have natural sugars or maybe brown sugar um that's a good idea so don't have sugar when we say high foods which produce insulin so the moment you eat produce suddenly the insulin as metabolized so glucose and body needs more sugar. so have foods which are low that your body does something like oat is low glycemic it is a very Doc, a lot of so sorry but a lot of people are saying that the voice is breaking do you want to start the live again should we try okay. it 
uh, do that. Fine, let's do that. Just quickly, guys, we're back in a second. Yes, thank okay. you.